In this video, we are going to start the queuing system or the waiting line problems. In number of situations, we will find the queue is form. It is very common in the case of machine shop, food chain, restaurant, bank, petrol pumps. And why we are interested in the queue forming? Because to satisfy your customer, the queue form should be as less as, as possible. So for that purpose, you have to provide the servers. The service will be very fast. So what are the peoples we have? That is called as populations here. Now out of all this population, your customer will not be every person. So the customer who will who wish to take the service, they arrive to the our system that is the waiting line system at the arrival rate of lambda and they form the queue to get the service. So these persons who are standing in a queue are waiting for the service to get. Now we have in this model, I have taken three servers. We can have single servers also. So as soon as the person will enter who is going to wish to take the service will form the queue and he will, then he will get the service at the rate of mu. Here mu is called as the service right. We have three servers. All three servers are identical that is they are doing the same job. Same service is offered. So therefore the person in the queue can go anywhere to the server 1, 2, 3 and then the queue will go into decrease. Again the new people will join this queue. And they will get the service. Now there are different models are also available. Say for example, we have the airport model. And in the case of airport model, if you find that first of all, you have to go for the security check. Once you have a security check and then you check your luggage, then, then you have to form the queue. The company has number of counters for booking the tickets. You have to confirm your ticket and you have to obtain your ticket numbers. And then again, we have one more final check that is called as security check. So we can have n number of counters. We can have one or two counters for security check. We have one or two counters for first security check also. So this one is multi-channel, multi-server system where we have a number of servers and number of times the queue is formed. So in this video, we are not going to discuss this type of model. This is a very complicated model. What we do is that we have a single queue and we have a single server model. What matters for you is that the length of queue should be as small as possible because the person will come and will form the queue and his length of queue is very large then the customer will not satisfy. If the customer will not satisfy then he will decide to leave the queue. Automatically your business will be get suffered. So as far as possible you have to make the queue as short as possible. For that purpose your idea is to increase the number of servers. So the basically here that uh, in the waiting line you have to objective is to find out what should be the length of queue, how many server we have to use, what will be the cost involved in the waiting line, uh, waiting time for the queue and what is the cost involved for the servers and then you have to optimize this cost. So basically we are interested that the probability distribution of a queue length that entirely depends on the value of mu. If your service is fast then the queue length will be less. If the number of server will increase, the cost of server will also increase. That has to bear the establishment. Then if we unnecessarily increase the server, then it is a waste of money. So how much time it was busy that you have to also identify. You have to check the utility of a server. Unnecessarily paying for the servers will increase the cost for the entire establishment. So basically you have to do the optimization in the case of waiting line. So some terms we will going to discuss in this. That is normally used in the case of waiting line. The very first term is a customer. Customer is anyone, it is arriving unit that requires some service to be performed. The customer may be the person, maybe the machine, vehicle, phone call, anything. Calling population or input source. We have entire sample of customer from which only few visit the system is termed as calling or input source. So this one is called as population. All custom, all people will not join your queue. Those who are interested, they will only join. Next one is system. System is the place or facility where customer arrive in order to get the service and its capacity may be fine. So in this case the system will be the person who are standing in the queue plus the person who are getting the service together is called as system. The another important term that usually come is basically queue. So the basically queue or waiting line is the number of customer waiting to be service. The queue does not include the customer being served. Remember one customer, two customer or three customer can any customer being served. Arrival rate is the number of customer arriving per unit time is termed as arrival rate and is denoted by lambda. It is the number of units per time 
and usually it follows a Poisson distribution. So we are in this model, we are using a Poisson distribution for arrival rate. For Poisson distribution, you can watch the video on probability in maths. And the service rate is basically is the number of customers service per unit time is known as the service rate and is denoted by letter mu. It usually follows the exponential distribution and it is the number of unit per unit time. In the case of waiting line per unit time, so you have to make per hour or per minute comparison for lambda and mu should be same. And how you are giving the service, it really also matters. In the case of service rate, mu must be higher than the lambda. Because if the service rate is higher than lambda, then the Q will be formed, but the Q will be shorter Q. Because it is known that at every equal intervals, we are not getting the customer. Customer may come in the group also. In that case, the service, even the service is fire, the customer has to form the Q. The service rule may be the first come, first out. The person who come the first will get the first serve, last in, first out, or service in random order, or sometimes the prior treatment like VIP treatment, or some special cases we can allow the people to get the service for physical handicap we can give the service that is a priority treatment so in the waiting line model which was basically investigated and the model is in practical cases is very complicated to understand the model the Kendall and Lee notations are basically used and basically it's Kendall notation stands for a slash b slash c where a stands for the arrival distribution b stands for the service distribution and S stands for number of serval. The arrival distribution M letter M is normally used for Poisson, D for deterministic and G for general distribution. Service time distribution, we are using letter M for exponent. So remember M for Poisson as well as for exponential, D for deterministic and G for general. S is the number of server. Some Kendall notation I have given you, M M1 stands for Poisson, arrival is Poisson and we have one server. So example is customer service desk in a store. So you have one server, the customers are coming in a poison fashion and exponential service. We have multiple server example is a MMS. S can be any number like five, six, seven. So this one is the example of airline ticket counter. Another model is the constant service where we have MD1, D for deterministic, M for poison and we have one service. Example is automated car wash. So we in a car wash, we have service center is one, and then we have deterministic model because we have space limited in the car wash. That is service center has a specific space. Then we have general service is MG1, G for general. is a general auto repair shop where minor repairs are conducted done. Then limited population is MMS infinity slash N. An operation with only 12 machines that might break. So these are the examples. Further classification is done on the a slash b slash c semicolon d slash e so a stands for here the arrival rate b stands for service distribution c for number of servers d for customer population q for discipline so arrival and the service may be poison distribution constant general distribution or long distribution and in case of the service particularly the letter m is used for poison distribution as arrival and the same letter is also used for service distribution also. That is the service is exponential. So we have M slash M slash 1 means we have arrival is a poison, service is poison, we have one number of server, we have customer may be finite or may be infinite. So infinity stands for infinite. And then what is our Q discipline? It can be first come first serve or random or priority. So this model we are going to study in this case. Or the basic model.